wash my feet later. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good yeah. morning. We are in our beautiful tent spot. Let me see if I can give you guys a view of uh, we're behind the baseball fields in Dartmouth and right next to a forest. And that's the sound. It's Julie's favorite sound. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mind today. Today getting, we don't mind it. Yeah, no. we're getting Starbucks. So we're heading into Starbucks. Um, nope just contacted me uh, he's about 8.8 .8 miles away so we might see him uh, in town if he catches up because he's get, he's leaving uh, early at like five five something so he can do the 8.8 .8 in about three showers on this terrain if he hustles mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna go get Starbucks hang around coffee eat and uh, we will be making our steps into uh, in New Hampshire today, so. Yay! Check in with y'all in town. And it's 5:56, Julie. I was just telling, telling you how if you were this motivated to get up and get going every single day. We'd be in Maine by now. Just something about Starbucks coffee and using a public restroom. Yeah. yeah you know. I, I have to agree. La last time we were here, uh, Nope was out at like four or something. And me and Downwind got up at like a similar time. Yeah, we were just. I feel like I'm back in school with the college campus. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. Something about it. I never got up this early for in when I went to college. Um. I did. I'd wake up at 6 o'clock and walk straight to school. You didn't get to choose your own hours, your own schedule? I went schedule. to community college. But you get to choose your own hours and stuff. You don't have classes? Yeah. Not always. Not if it's booked up. Yeah. You know? Well, I made sure I got my own hours. <laughs> For a <second. laughs> Nope, what are you doing? Tent shopping? Yeah, yeah, I'm tent shopping. Yeah, it's Coleman tent. Yeah. Thinking about getting myself another Coleman tent. That'd be nice. It is. Yeah. That's like a whole house. Mm -hmm. What's the weight of that one? Is that ultralight? Huh? Is that ultralight? Oh is yeah, really everything's light? ultralight now. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> couple pounds. Couple pounds. Yeah, it's only a couple pounds. It's so light they didn't even put the weight down. Where is the weight supposed to be? Over here somewhere? Yeah, it's yeah. that's a specification. Yeah. Yeah. If it's Coleman, you know it's good. Yeah. You don't need to know the weight. Yeah, like I said, the specifications yeah. is so light that they only put the weight yeah. in there. Yeah, you don't need the weight. You gotta get that pinky out. There you go. everybody May 31st 12:56 p.m. and this is the there's the co-op there's a hiker right here I'm tired and we're finally heading out we stayed in town way too long man well that's a good town though it is but nope's not even 
like, nope took a bus to. I'm like ready for bed. All that food. No, nope, nope took a bus to a nearby town because they didn't have potatoes at the co-op. So he stormed out, saying he's gonna go get potatoes. But uh, yeah, we camped over there on that side there behind the fence or whatever. Um, I guess they're cool with that. But yeah, we're hiking out. It's chilly. Not sure how far we're gonna get to. Probably hike until it gets dark or whatnot, but. New Hampshire. Uh, New Hampshire's already starting to look a little muddy. Well, just in New Hampshire and there's already a rope on uh, this climb, so. Whew. Not too bad, but I'm feeling it. A lot of roots. So we are here. Supposedly there's trail magic, three mile road, not sure. There's a Moose Mountain Shelter. And there the AT goes here. Trapper John Shelter. Doo -doo -doo. There's a fire warden's cabin. I've slept there before, right on top of Sm Smarts Mountain. And uh, there's Hexacuba. So. <sighs> the mud? Yeah. Don't go through here. Why? Where am I going? You see this right here? That no, patch? I didn't see it. Now you say something. I just noticed it, Julie. Oh. This is what I have to deal with, guys. <laughs> I show her. I show her the I way. Every day. I show her the way. To the less muddy trail. It's a little free one for you guys. A little free tune. Da, 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 da. I haven't sang in a while, Julie. Yeah? Show her the way. What is this a little Ooh, well good. or something? Cool. Foundation for like a fire tower. Looks like the top is all the way over there. Yeah. Second this was second. something. That's like that used to be a cabin up here. Oh, cool. There's a little wall. Yeah. Here. Used to be. Who knows how long? But something. Huh? Over five miles yeah, with a late start. What time is it? Uh, three o'clock. And we got out of there by one. By what? One? Yeah, we did five. Or something like that. Yeah. This way. Uh. Whew. Pretty cool being in uh, in New Hampshire. I'm gonna try to jump this, see how it works out. Yeah, I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be good. Oh. Whew. Oh. All right guys, we got some trail magic, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Got a cooler of ginger ale. This is awesome. And a slow day today, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we spent a lot of time in town. Alright guys, just got some awesome trail magic from Jim. Uh, Jim woke up and uh, he had a cooler out. So does. I got a Starbucks single. And then I got a Cliff Bar from him too. It was pretty awesome. So, came, came out of Hanover. And then uh, like six, seven miles later... Uh, we had sodas at a road crossing, so that was really good. Julie, how was the trail magic? It was good. From I Jim. got some ginger ale. My tummy was hurting, so that made me feel better. Yeah, real nice guy. Thanks a lot, Jim. We appreciate it. 
talked about the trail for a while and uh, now we're uh, moving on moving on up and then uh, yeah I just we'll try to hike as much as we can today I know we started later but uh you know it is what it is it's a beautiful day so I might as well take advantage of the hiking hours check it out everybody the view from Moose Mountain and the bugs are out Whew. how are you feeling Julie I'm tired, like my body's good. I'm sleepy. Mm. I ate a lot of food, plus the trail magic. Yeah. Plus a slow start. Respray. I love these New Hampshire signs. <gasps> so you know exactly where your tents go. Yeah. You know that the Privy yeah. It's right there. You yeah. Some water away from the privy. Yeah. And then the shelter is the furthest away. Yeah. It looks good on paper, but once you go down these little side trails, you're just wandering around. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but it's a nice little map. Shelter is that way. Packed out a nice Reuben. Mm -hmm. And it's from the co op. About yeah. seven bucks at the co op. Pretty nice looking. It looks good. Grilled. Nice little twist. I want to take the first bite. How was the Reuben, Julie? Oh. If you were to rate it compared to a gas station hoagie from Wawa. Oh, this is way better than gas station hoagie. I just am used to gas station hoagies because I used to live right by a quick check. Yeah. Mm. But this has the grilled... This the way better. Reuben it sauce. It has a really nice sauce. Um, that's yeah. like legit deli cut Reuben. The lady's like, "Oh, I know what you guys would like." And I look at those Reubens. I'm like, "Eh, seven ninety nine. It's a little steep, but that does look really, really good." So. Yeah. Oh. Just found this guy on my leg, and I just sprayed myself down. So. Another nice little peekaboo view. Mountains are getting bigger. Yeah. Filling up at this little water source before our camp spot. Right before the beaver pond, took a right, just wanted to show you guys, and then saw a couple flat spots over here, and kept going, saw this really old, nice camp spot that's been cleared out, it looks like a while ago, I'm sure people still might use it, but this, is legit. this fire ring has not been used in a long time. It's got moss on it. I mean, this is a, yeah, this is an old fire ring. And it's next to one of these old boulder walls. So yeah, legit campsite, right, Julie? Yeah, this is good. Yeah, so we're calling it a day right before the pond. We're not gonna climb up to, what was it, Trapper John yeah, shelter? Like yeah, do that in the morning tomorrow. And yeah, nice little spot. Julie, mm, God. what are you looking at? Mount Musilaki. How many miles till Mount Musilaki? <laughs> oh my God. Your GPS isn't on. Oh. 37. So if we send it tomorrow. But look at this. Look at yeah. Mount Musilaki. Mm -hmm. And then all these hills are like what we've been doing. That's just rollers. And like, then you go to Mount Mi Musilaki. Oh, we're on the top now. We're there. Hello guys, us. And then like, so that's what we've been, type, type of mountains we've been doing. Yeah, and then, rollers. And then. Boom, 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 And then, boom, boom. oh Hello. my god, hello. 
Hey, Drew. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Yeah, we got we got toad noises, but uh, <laughs> as Julie knows, my story of once falling asleep with owl above my head. It's better than an owl being above your head. But look how thick this forest is. It's going to the point where unless you have like some somebody that's made a campsite like this, it looks like they've cleared out these trees and stuff like that. Like it's it's a thick forest. Very a lot of overgrowth here and uh it's just going to get thicker and thicker and when you get to the whites, I mean look at that right there. That's just you can't even, you're going to have a hard time going through any of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So green. Good morning, everybody. Just crossing the boards over the pond on the side of it. And then uh, it's wet right over here, too. And it looks like they needed more boards because this is a flooded section. But, uh, yeah, we overslept today. It's 9.15. And uh, we're supposed to get up at 6 and be out on trail by 6.30. So, uh, but at least two and a half hours off from what we were supposed to start at. Um, but that's okay. It is what it is. We're hiking now and uh, got some climbing for today. New Hampshire views. Absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to show you guys. Somebody lives right here. Gets to see the beautiful mountains. That's awesome. That is awesome. Alright everybody, so that is right there is uh, Smarts Mountain. And uh, I think you can see the fire tower over there. But it's about six miles away. And uh, last time we were through hiking, we did Hanover to Smarts Mountain. You did? With a late start. Yeah. You guys are nuts. Yeah. Exhausted. After Hanover, you just get tired. Yeah, so we ate all the food and then... Somebody said, oh, blah, 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 we're hiking out and all that. I'm like, yeah, we'll probably make it up uh, Smarts Mountain. And then, <laughs> I don't know what got into us, but we were going fast up every single climb, like, just booking it. It was me and Nope and uh, Downwind. And, uh, I don't know, just feeling good off the caffeine that we had in town. And next thing you know, we're climbing up Smarts Mountain, and there's drizzle coming down. And uh, we had our headlamps out by that point and get to the tent sites. The tent sites were flooded. And then we get to a fire warden's cabin. And it was like, oh, we finally found the cabin and it's locked. And then uh, Nope knocked on it and there was a lady, an older lady who uh, does sections of the trail. Um, she loves hiking. And then we, she let us in there and then uh, downwind was scoping out the fire tower because we were thinking about possibly uh, cowboy camping in the fire tower and me and Nope completely forgot about downwind so we're sitting in the cabin and after a while downwind shows up oh thanks for thanks for letting me know you guys found the cabin I really appreciate it and I was just like, oh, I'm so, I was just like, downwind, I'm so sorry. I just felt so warm in here. I completely <laughs> forgot about you. And he's just like looking at me. So you downwind, would. if you're ever, if you're watching this, my bad. I, you know, it's one of those things you kind of forget about. Just kind of. How do you forget downwind? Julie, I was feeling warm and I completely forgot that there was three people. Me. Uh, another view for you guys there. Oh wow, it's even better than the other one. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Yesterday's trail magic, I got the good stuff, the Starbucks. Thank you, Jim.
That's a ways off the AT. Point three. Point three is way too much to go into just to use the privy or to have lunch at a shelter. But keep on rolling. Came down to the parking area. There's a road race going on. Uh, we are here, got Fire Warden's Cabin and Smart Mountain area coming up. It says to uh, cable up because there's going to be a dry four mile stretch. Oh no, a dry four mile stretch, Julie, what will I do? <laughs> I'll need 30 liters for that. <laughs> Anyways, Hexacuba, got another road, one hill. I guess it's Ore Hill, former shelter. Uh, you know, Parking go on after that. All right, we're at 1103 elevation, going up to 3237. So, got over 2,000 feet of climbing for the next uh, 3.9 miles. So, here we go. Julie spraying herself down. I'm okay for now. Sure, I sprayed my face. Julie, I got the Strava going, we'll see. Okay. We're not running up it or anything, uh, this is, what you guys will see, uh, last time I turned on Strava, uh, we were going up Killington, so we were moving pretty good. I was with Nope. This time we're just regular hiking pace, so probably like up a climb like this. I mean, just depends on how you're feeling, you know. Um, but we're not running up it or anything, or just a regular hike up, but I got the Strava going to see how it goes. There's a nice little shelter spot right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, Poor I tree. Just cowboy camping right there. Yeah. If it's raining. Even a lunch or something. Poor yeah. tree slanted down, and uh, yeah, it opened up this little rock area. I mean, the, the rock is flat. You could totally cowboy. Yeah. There. Nice and covered. Yeah. But uh, yeah, about 1.6 or so. Uh, up Smart Mountain, so almost halfway up. We're on the flatter little part, but it hits you with a nice steepness on the slabs. But uh, not not horrible. Yeah, no, not too bad. We're gonna. We decided to have a. We packed out a sandwich from Hanover, so we are gonna treat ourselves, treat ourselves to lunch at the Fire Warden's cabin or up there on the mountain. So. How do you feel about that, Julie? That sounds amazing. Yeah. Sounds amazing. I eat Skittles on my climbs a lot. Julie's bragging about eating Skittles on her climbs. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the top of uh, Smarts Mountain. And that little point right there. Let's see here. That little point right there is the fire tower, so. That's where we're headed. Fire tower right there. That's where we're going. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's in about two and a half miles. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, making it up Smarts Mountain still. And uh... Whew. Look at all this. You can tell where the snow has been. Cause it turns into all this mud. Luckily people have made side trails, which if it wasn't for them, you'd be in ankle deep mud over there. 
But, uh, uh, and these logs are a lifesaver right here. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, so I was trying to figure out where Nope was. He, uh, broke his pole. So he ended up getting back into Hanover somehow. He wasn't that far behind us. He got back into Hanover, and now he's trying to get into a town like right next to Hanover because they got a big Agnes uh, tent that he wants to buy. Um, so I'm not sure when he's gonna catch up, but he's doing some gear stuff right now, and then uh, I guess he's gonna resupply or whatever. But wanted to update you on Nope. Uh, I don't know when he's gonna catch up because. Yeah. Yeah, he's a ways back right now. Huh? I mean, if it rains tomorrow, and he's that far back now, yeah. we might not see him for a few days. Yeah, we'll see. He'll have to do some big miles to catch us. But, uh... I mean, yesterday we did a shorter day, which is kind of in his favor or whatever, but... Um, yeah, he's taking care of business. So, got to make sure you have a good tent going into the whites. And I guess something happened with this trekking pole. It snapped or something. Going up these wet slabs right now. We got these steps here. Because it's such a slippery slab. And then they got the rock stairs, which is nice. And then, whew, you get the rebar right there, whew, which is really helpful on a slippery slope like that. But, uh, whew. No, you just walk on them. Got some steep sections here. Whew. Lungs are definitely feeling it. How was the climb, Julie? Not too bad. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there, yeah. All right, guys, there's the cabin. And I just went up to the fire tower. Didn't get any, any uh, views on video. Uh, there's a couple people there uh, playing music. I didn't want to be rude and uh, tell them to turn it off. So I didn't say anything, but um, check this out though. There's a cabin. I've actually slept here before. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. But uh, the AT, yeah, we have to go back this way. And then the cabin's like right here. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I saw a sign back there. Oh, right. Okay. And we packed out a nice sandwich Ugh, from the co-op. It's even got hot peppers in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mount Cube. It's going to be a nice view. Uh, currently going up Mount Cube and uh, this one is about 1500 or so elevation gain but it's a little bit harder 
because it's more like rockier. But uh, as you can see, this little part right here, going up some rocks. Winds are definitely starting to pick up out here. It's so beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. We're so lucky to be out here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. How cool is this? This is awesome. <sighs> And these are called quartzite ledges. Oh, that's pretty cool. Julie, check out the stealth spot. If you could get rid of this rock right here. Yeah, how are you gonna get rid of that rock? Tell me. How are you gonna get People rid of that rock? People say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. You're really good at usually finding stealth spots, but that one sucked. Oh, it's really, you're hurting my feelings right now. <laughs> really yeah, I know they move. There you go. Nice little downhill after all the climbing we've been doing, so we definitely appreciate this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cape Moonshine Road. Uh, walking through what looks like a swamp but for whatever reason, I'm fascinated with it right now. Um, I don't know why these things move, but it took so much work, I'm sure, to put like all these boards up there and back there. Julie, remember that section that didn't have the boards? Yeah. We were playing like find the tallest rock to get like at least half an inch of above yeah, the... Like tapping it. Yeah, because the trail that goes through like this muddy um, swampy area for whatever reason I find it really really cool how they're able to create a footpath on top of uh, just all this swamp lands imagine if this was like a, just like a path a route and uh, this wasn't a distinguished trail and you had to kind of go through something like this like you know what do you put plastic bags over your shoes and try to make it through or I don't know it's very interesting I know there's parts of the Florida Trail that I'm not really looking forward to if I ever do the Florida Trail where people look like they're knee deep in uh, mud areas so there's no boards or anything but this isn't too bad you're able to navigate um, rocks and stuff like that so.